Hi there, this is Dave Hodgson with KLTV News. It's good to be with you and thanks for choosing us for your local news. The headlines. The Northern Powerhouse moves to hold the new Prime Minister to account. The problem with an illegal tip in Lockwood just won't go away. Angry town centre traders storm out of a meeting with Kirklees Council. And the weather. Oh yes, the weather. The top story. Leaders of the five northern combined authorities have joined forces and written to the new Prime Minister demanding a seat at the Brexit negotiation table. They are pointing out that with a combined productivity stronger than that of Scotland and greater than London, the north of England will not allow itself to be ignored by Theresa May's administration or left out of the up-and-coming Brexit negotiations. In a joint, full and frank letter signed on behalf of all by Greater Manchester Mayor Tony Lloyd, the Prime Minister has been officially invited to see for herself the potential of the Northern Powerhouse and to meet with its chiefs of all the combined authorities, that's West Yorkshire, North East, Sheffield City, Liverpool and Greater Manchester. The letter has underlined the urgency of the situation and has requested that the visit should be, quote, in the very near future. As featured in KLTV News two weeks ago, the saga of the illegal tip at the ex-premises of the Hunter Group in Lockwood refuses, uh, sorry, I think that should be, refuses to go away. The new owner of the Skip Hire site in Queen's Mill Lane brought in an excavator to commence disposing of the Environment Agency condemned site, only to find that the core had self-combusted and so the fire brigade had to be called in. As more rubbish was removed, more oxygen got to the seat of the fire and made it worse. Fire chiefs estimate that they will have to be on hand for another week whilst the waste is removed in case more damping down is needed. The fire was first noticed by council environmental health officers when they noticed smoke as they assessed the tip for removal. It is thought that the fire commenced in deep lying and compacted compost waste. Fire officers also said they had to use water jets sparingly, as it was feared that the excess water would run off and pollute a nearby stream. The new owners, who have not been named, are set to be cooperating fully with the authorities. However large or small your business, attracting new customers requires dedication and a lot of patience. Just like fishing, but you also need the right gear. Rods, reels, lines, hooks, sinkers, lures, tackle box, tackle bag, net, bait, gas gloves, clothes, and pocket knife lunch. Or you could simply advertise with KLTV. Online, grow your business and your clientele. KLTV, your vision made reality. Should have gone to KLTV. Angry town centre traders have stormed out of a crunch meeting about Huddersfield's controversial bus gate traffic control. A deputation from Huddersfield Town Centre Action Group met with the council officials demanding the new scheme be abandoned. Members of the 61 Strong Group say that nearly all their businesses have suffered huge dips in trade since the gates went up in February. 
but council officials and the regeneration chief, Councillor Peter McBride, insisted that the issue was the amount of disruption from ongoing roadworks, not the scheme itself. Spokesperson for the business owners, Elisa Devlin, said that they had walked out in frustration, calling the council's response complete arrogance and disdain. They were utterly appalled at their treatment and the uncooperative and patronising attitude. Councillor McBride, defending himself, said that he stood by his belief that there was no link between the bus gate and the dropping trade. He added that in the long term the bus gates will help the town so pedestrians could walk around more effectively but promised that the situation was under constant review and that it would be looked in later in the year. Finally, summer has hit Kirklees at last, but only temporarily. Temperatures have breached the all-time record of 31.4 degrees with a Mediterranean impressing heat of almost 34 degrees over Tuesday of this week. Weather forecasters are saying that we are now in for a period of torrential rain, thunderstorms, thunder and lightning, gales and even hail, bringing in cooler, fresher weather. In other words, back to summer normality. I'll stop now as on hearing this bit the crew are mentioning me and a ducking stool in the same sentence. As always if you'd like to comment on any of these stories please email us or contact us on Facebook and search on Twitter. This is Dave Hodgson, that was KLTV News and remember if you stay good be very good, if you don't be sensational. Bye for now. Thank you.